that is a very amazing feat. And the last group I want to put over, the last act I want to put over is Megan Simon. If you like music, if you like, if you like your comedy sung, Megan Simon has an amazing show called Impressionable that she will be doing at the New Movement every Friday in December at 9 p.m. Also a very amazing young talent. Well, I need to get out more because I love stand-up comedy, and I've been kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, closeted. I didn't know all this stuff was going on. Oh, it's so much, my man. It's so much. Almost every night of the week there's something going on at the New Movement. And I'll tell you what, you let me know when you're going, and I'll give you the royal treatment. Oh, I pre- <laughs> you don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. I'll come down and uh, I, I do. I have to make time to do that because I am a big stand-up comedy fan. Uh, uh, Jimmy Roulette, actually, uh, him and I uh, hung out a little bit, and I've watched him a lot, and uh, I hope he gets back into the game. And and it, it's just the times I've spent down at the Velveeta Room, that's really the only place I knew that in Cap City. I had no idea this existed, so now I've got another outlet that I need to go check out. Yeah, please do. Let me know when you want to do it. I will take care of you. Well, I appreciate it. Well, real quick before we go, tell us all the ways we can get a hold of you, all the ways we can get get uh, uh, linked into this stuff. So our listeners right now, we've got a lot of them, uh, can come down and, and, and share this and uh, enjoy the shows. Well, what I would love for you to do is follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chris Troom at C H R I S. T-R-E-W, like true, false, T-R-E-W. Follow me on Twitter. I, 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 I am using Twitter to work out lots of material to just keep people posted on, on what's going on in my life. You can also, if you're, if, if you're living in Austin, you can follow the new movement on Twitter at T-N-M underscore Austin. And really, just come and see a comedy show at the new movement. We really appreciate you coming out and seeing the amazing talent that we have. And next time you see me at a professional wrestling show, you put those two fingers to the side corner of your eye and you let me know that you understand what it means to focus up. You understand that you are in the presence of professional wrestling's future manager of the decade. And I'll give you a wink right back. Done deal, my friend. We will keep in touch and I'll definitely try to make it down to one of those shows now. And now you got me all excited. Hey, you too, man. I appreciate it. And I really appreciate the forum tonight. I appreciate the megaphone that you put in front of me for your show. Thank you for sharing that with me. And thank you all for listening to it. Thank you very much, Chris. We'll talk to you soon, son. You got it, buddy. All right, brother. Chris True. He is uh, one of the managers at Inspire Pro. He's also got a lot going on. We need to go down and see that stuff. I'm going to go. I'm following him on Twitter right now. Follow him at Chris True. Uh, And we'll have him back on real soon. We're going to be back after these messages. For the Witching Hour, Heather Bumpus is in the house. And also, I think, Danger Davis, are we sober? Negative, Ghost Rider. See, we were going to have to remember the rest of the show. He's over here in Blue Wig. Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah, that's that's in my mouth. Oh, God. Not just my nails. It's like playing cards with my brother's kids. (laughs) We'll be right back. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Ring Central, which is providing all of our celebrity hotline. Also, eat24.com. Special thanks to Chris True. Follow him on Twitter at Chris True, C H R I S T R E W. Chris True.com for all the dates, and I'm going to head to head down there. New movement. That sounds like, hey, that sounds like a night. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I think we're going to have to make a road trip down there, definitely. Yeah. Road trip. Absolutely. You're listening to the Armed Radio Global Network. I'm Mike Allen, and you are on the air. Hi. 
Tom here from Spot On with Lino and Tom. Tune in for some topical discussion and laugh therapy with Lino and me. I'll be covering my favorites like Weird News of the Week and what I'm liking on Netflix, the next best gadget, and whatever else comes to mind. We both have our own interests. I love recording on the latest movies being filmed here in Boston, checking out new musical talent, and just talking to people. We'll also be featuring segments such as on-the-spot interviews where Lynn and I venture out and ask questions of our listening public. That's my favorite part, besides hanging out with my buddy Tom. Now that's the icing on the cake. And cake, I love talking about cake. We love talking about everything. So tune in Monday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern right here at Armed Radio Global. Online auctions are great money savers if you can actually win them. Well, that's what BetThisBid.com is changing. Click your media player now to check out BetThisBid.com. The number of bidders is limited, and every auction has two winners, either a random or second highest bid winner. Get the hottest electronics, jewelry, and lots more, all brand new, shipped free at prices way below retail. Check out BetThisBid.com. We're sure you'll like your odds better at BetThisBid.com. Hi, now I know you hear Joe Rocks on their weekly restaurant reviews on Night Talk, 10 p.m. Eastern. And boy, these two like to eat, right boys? Well, here's something to review right from your house. Eat24. That's right, eat24.com. With over 25,000 restaurants for you to choose from when you're hungry. Many in your area. So review that, boys. Eat24.com. Click, order, and eat. Eat24.com. Savino Wine Preservation System is wine preservation glassware. Savino is an easy-to-use wine preservation system that allows you to enjoy your favorite wines anytime without waiting for an occasion. Open any bottle with confidence, knowing that you can enjoy the full original flavor of Tuesday's wine on Saturday. For more information, visit us at www.savinowine.com. Today's wine, tomorrow. Uh Uh-oh, I think I've been shaduced. I went online to shadooseme.com and I found the latest and hottest shoe trends. What makes me a shaducer? I'm confident, classy, sexy, comfortable in my own skin. I'm a lover of shoes and style and I have a sharp eye for design. Shadooseme.com is delighted and dedicated in selling the trendiest, and most fashionable must-have shoes and accessories. Get Shaduce now. Go to shoeduceme.com. Trust Princeton Fuel in Arlington to help you avoid the Montreal Express this winter. Their professionals will attend to your every heating need, whether it's oil delivery, new heating systems, or maintenance and repair. Family owned and operated for over 25 years. Located at 46 Frost Street in Arlington, call Princeton Fuel at 781 643 0058 now and don't get left out in the cold. Focus It's more focus up. Man, what a great interview. Uh, welcome back to the show. I'm Mike Allen, and you're listening to the Armed Radio Global Network, and you're on the air. We are in the witching hour. Welcome inside the man cave, the OTA paranormal expert. That is your new, you get cards made up. Heather, that's what you have to put on the the OTA paranormal expert. Okay. 
She's I'm, like, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm afraid to <laughs> oh, ask. Oh, here's your water. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask what OTA is. On the air. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I just thought it was something like, I, I, you know, <laughs> weird or something. Well, you know. Well, you, okay, because you know me. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So uh, you went back out to the cemetery, right? I did, yeah. You, nothing? No. Um, I went during the day. And, you know, they said that you can go day or night. But, um, no, I didn't pick anything just, up. Just nothing? Okay. No. Well, I have a contact number for the hotel over in Taylor right off the railroad tracks there off of Second Street. So. Yes, yes. Nothing's been boarded up for nine years. No one's been inside it for nine years. How many floors is it? It's four floors. Ooh. It was the hotel there at the train station mm -hmm. for many, many years back in the 1800s and 1900s, early 1900s. So uh, I don't know if there's any paranormal activity there, but... Uh, there's probably something. You never know. It'd be just kind of cool to walk around in. At night? I think. With recorders. And <laughs> <laughs> I just think it'd be and cool. dangerous Dave over here with his blue wig. <laughs> Davis. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to remember the end of the show, Davis. God damn, dude. Yeah. I am now decided to pace myself, and I'm I'm doing pretty good. I remember what He's we're doing talking, right okay. now. He's talking okay. You remember what we're doing right now. Okay. I remember what we're doing right now, so That's we'll good. see how I am at the end of the show. Here, here's an interesting one for you. Um, you know, there's you can do a search on Google, of course, you know, for haunted places in Texas. And on Urban Legends, Hutto... Texas is in there for Jake's Bridge. Yeah, for have you have you gone down there? I have. Well, I tried to find it. I tried to find exactly where everybody's saying, but it's right on the bridge. Well, but that's the new bridge. Yeah, that's where that's where you do it. Oh, okay. You sit at the so bottom of it to where right. it's angled up, mm -hmm. and you sit and you put your car in neutral, and you sit there, and your car will slowly start to roll uphill. I've done it twice. Really. Now, the thing you have to re do, though, is you have to make sure that, uh, that there's you no watch around. behind you because they're coming over that hill, <laughs> right. you know, and you want to be able to throw and drive and get out of the way. Yeah. Uh, but I've done it twice. And, and uh, now I didn't do uh, both times my car was clean, so I didn't have any. Uh, uh, apparently, there's a story where a gentleman put baby powder on the back of his yeah, and car, the hands and then they saw the, the kid's mm -hmm. hands prints. Uh, do you know the story behind that? What, As far as Jake's Bridge? Yeah. Um, or Jake's I, Hill? Or Jake's Hill, yeah. Um, I know a little bit about it. I know that he was some kind of farmer or something, and they mm -hmm. were going to, um, I guess, repossess his house. He couldn't afford it anymore. Um, and he This was out. back in the 30s. Yes, and he flipped out, mm -hmm. um, went insane. Um, took his family, I guess, out to the bridge mm -hmm. and killed them. Threw them over. Yes. And then he went out there and, and hung himself. himself. And hung himself. Now, that's, he hung himself off the old suspension, the, the, the steel girder bridge that uh, is not there anymore, but the support beams are still there. But so see, if you look over, for. yeah, the, if you if you get on the new bridge and look to your, if you're heading south, uh, if you look to the east, mm -hmm. you'll see the two supports where the where the steel bridge was. Now, see, that would They're be still there. To get back over there, but I just don't know if there's a way to get over uh, there. There is. There is. And the on the north side of the of the. Uh, Are you talking about behind Farley? Brushy Creek? Uh -huh. uh, there's a gate. It is the old road. Now the old road that used to go over that bridge now runs. Uh, well, since they made a new one that goes by Farley, it used to run right next to the uh, cemetery right there. Oh, okay, okay. So you know how it goes around? Yeah. That used to go straight. When I first moved here in 2000, so, that went straight. That didn't go left. So that road that's right next to the cemetery. Right as you come down 1660, mm -hmm. where 1660 goes left, yeah, and it goes straight, and it's all kind of grown over now. Yeah, that's the straight road. And if you and if you go down the road that's in front of Farley uh -huh. to the bridge, uh -huh. it comes out to your right, and then you can see where it crosses to the left, and then jogs over the Brushy Creek, and then on the other side of the bridge 
it's all it used to, it came across right there where it's, it's all they made it in they kind of improved the road for drainage now so it's all gone but you used to be able to see a small little portion of the of the pavement before it connected back into the new road hmm. okay. so uh, but yeah you can see the support beams through the old bridge over there still and i think that bridge is now in uh taylor oh okay it's in taylor is that the old bridge that's out? Are you talking about Taylor in that park? Mm-hmm. That's it. Oh. Oh. That's